this is my living room view from my upstairs and nice it's not even really that bright but um that's why i like light curtains and hubby just got off work uh noon on day before thanksgiving there's my tree the light bulbs i wish it wasn't so blue because it, it's like mercury glass uh, but it's okay so it just it is what it is <laughs> um i think i'm going to show you guys my i'm gonna brine my turkey so my um preparation i'm gonna make uh banana ice cream because i have so much bananas and then because i can freeze it and then it doesn't go to waste um i have a whole bunch of cookie dough that i'm gonna pre-package and give to lola so i'm gonna keep it in the freezer lola is grandma and then um freeze some ice cream for her uh the next time i see her which i don't know when i'm gonna see her next but at least it'll be in the freezer and then i don't have any ingredients for brining the turkey but i wanted to go ahead and just see what i got and that's the thing with brining you don't really you just whatever your whatever flavor kind of goes together then you can use that so for instance if you have apples and oranges uh cinnamon sticks uh, you can do that uh fresh herbs um um whatever herbs you got like thyme parsley so i'm not gonna go outside uh into the store because i'm avoiding stores from a few days before now which is the day before thanksgiving i've been avoiding stores for like two days and then about a week into thanksgiving like totally avoiding because that's when i feel like the the, the real dangerous part uh, of the covid is because that's when you know it's hard to tell the fat you know the the families of not visiting one another kind of thing so it's, it's everybody by choice so our choice is not to visit we're just going to facetime our families um, but there are families out there that are celebrating thanksgiving together and no judging uh i just feel like i shouldn't be out there <laughs> so this is what i got this is what i got out of my <laughs> my pantry my fridge kind of thing so i don't have orange juice I have a lemon that I don't even think is any good, so I'm gonna cut into that and see if, if that's salvageable. But to be honest, if this is not salvageable, if I really wanted something lemon, I have a lemon powder <laughs> to make lemonade, you know what I mean? So you just gotta, you know, basically do what you gotta do. So if I'm going, I have oregano, I have smoked paprika, I don't think I'm gonna use that. Sage, I'm, I might use that with that lemon pepper probably that celery okay that so that's my veggies <laughs> my veggie and my herb and then garlic and you know and even cinnamon cinnamon will, will work for this as well so let me so i'll put the cinnamon here i have apples though so i have a couple more apples i just got the ones that's like really kind of um the kids you know like the what do you call these when it's soft so cut that up um I'm gonna get one whole garlic and then just rough chop that. I have a little bit of allspice left. When I bought um, uh, one of our grocery store, you can buy it in bulk. And then I had put it into this little jar. And then, worst comes to worst, I have better than bouillon, uh, seasoned vegetable base. So this is just to add flavor onto your, your turkey. I bought an 11 pound fresh turkey. So I'm just kind of adding flavor to it. Um, like I said, I don't want to have to go step to the store. So I have a pot of boiling water. I'm going to start with my allspice, this, apples, um, all this, and then this. And then, you know what? I'm just going to do it all. <laughs> I'm just going to do it all. All right, I went ahead and cut the, the lemon. It's salvageable. Even though it's ugly on the outside, it's still good on the inside. Drop that in there. I've got some apples and then one clove of garlic that I just kind of smashed up a bit. Add that. So I've added all the seasonings that I showed you. Even a little bit of um, salt. And then I put all of my... Um, no, a little bit of cinnamon. And then I put all of my salt. So my salt is about one cup. Because that's all I had. But this one and then i'm gonna let it cool so i'm just gonna boil this down for maybe another 10 minutes i brought a brand new tub for the turkey and then i'll put ice on it and then right now outside is 36 degrees so i'll just leave it outside all right so i went ahead and boiled this for gosh about 15 20 minutes not too long i didn't even actually time it and then the apples are nice and soft 
added all my seasoning in there. It actually smells really, really good. I got this IKEA bin, brand new. I've never used it. And all I did was just rinse it out and then added some ice, uh, ice in there for my ice uh, machine. And then I'm going to let that sit for uh, maybe about 30 minutes or so until it like cools down because I don't want to pour it in here when it's boiling hot because then it'll just melt the ice. And then so once it's cool, I'll take out the turkey from the refrigerator, wash it down really well, and then place it in here and then pour the brine over and then leave it out. Uh, the nice thing about these is that it seals. So you don't have to worry about anything um, like spilling and stuff. And I love using containers like this um, because this can still fit into your refrigerator at the top shelf. Um, in California, I would do that, uh, put it into the refrigerator. But over here in Pacific Northwest, because it's already cold outside, no need to use the refrigerator. Or you can actually put it onto your countertop. Um, you just got to make sure to keep um, putting ice in there and no more than I believe it was like 12 hours. So you do it like the night before. Okay, 12 or 24 hours. I'm not quite sure. I just never left it on the countertop. I've always uh, made sure to put it on fridge or outside in the cold. I'm gonna kind of wing it. Um, so I got heavy cream in here. I always add just a little bit of sugar or powdered sugar onto the heavy cream because I don't like the heavy cream not having flavor. I just feel like sometimes it's just air flux. Um, I have all these bananas, so I think I, it's so hard friends i never follow a recipe or i don't have a recipe but three or maybe four and then i figured you know what bananas and nutella they go together and then plus i still have some of these from when i made banana pudding i'm gonna crush this up and add that in there and then you know the kids can have dessert so along with pumpkin pie they'll have like a banana ice cream or if i leave it out then banana banana and hazelnut um, kind of mousse or ice cream okay cool super easy i learned this uh, method from lola all right fine so here's the turkey just 11 pounder rinsed it really well i have uh, some ice and then hubby is gonna go ahead and look i can smell all the citrus the flavoring just pour it over there we go mm. that Okay. Whew, look at all that goodness. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, more stuff, more um, garlic. Okay. There we go. Yeah. And then I'm just going to get a little spoon and just kind of put that in there. See, the apples are. Apples are really soft, so it'll flavor that really well. And then the, the seasoning. And so there's ice at the bottom. And so if the turkey is not submerged, then I'm just going to add more ice to it. Um, but that is good for now. And then what I'll do is I'll also flip it around so that the, the brine can also go onto the breast. Because it's the breast that I really want the brine to be in, not necessarily the bottom of the turkey. Um, but I'm going to wait until the ice are, is melted and see how it is. Okay? Go in there, buddy. Oh, see you tomorrow, little guy. <laughs> All right, friends. I'm just sitting down. I think it's only like one one in the afternoon but there's nothing else to do. I baked already so I have a bunch of uh, cookie dough in the fridge that I can always warm up later on when they're watching TV. I brined my turkey, it's outside in a little container. I'd gotten that at containers brand new from Ikea, it's like $3.99, but it's a perfect container for the small turkey. And then I made my banana Nutella trifle, it's in the fridge. And then tomorrow morning, or maybe tonight, I'll chop up some veggies for Filipino pancit. I'll make that. I forgot to get um, Costco mac and cheese so it's okay because i still have some potatoes that i can turn into uh mashed potatoes to go with the turkey and costco ham and then um other veggies i don't think so because like the pancit will have the veggies of the celery the carrots the green beans and i don't want to overdo it i have um 
I have spinach. I have a bag of Costco spinach. So I'm just going to saute that into um, like uh, bacon. Bacon and some seasoning. So that will be an, another addition. Um, you know, just to cook it because I don't want it to go bad. What else did I have? A green onion. I don't have a lot of veggies. Oh, cabbage. I have like Napa cabbage. I don't, I don't think I need to. Oh, wait. The Napa cabbage is going to go with the pancit. And that's it. Because it's just the turkey in the oven and then the ham in the oven. Oh, and then sweet potato. So I like to cook the sweet potato with um, marshmallows and maple syrup. So we can have that. Hi. And then you know what? Um, we have that Japanese fried rice from Trader Joe's. And then I add just a little bit of like leftover white rice. I have, um, oh, you know what? I'm going to show you later on. So for lunch, Danielle and I will have, um, um, it's a Japanese mushroom. It's long, but I just saute it in butter and it's so good because it's crunchy. Hey, Danica, come over here. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I got so many headbands. She does. She has a collection of headbands. What were you doing? Playing Switch? Yeah. Harry Potter game? Yeah, and I'm better than Daddy. <laughs> she is. Um, I'm, we're just sitting down here. Let TV, me see. No music. Just relaxing with my beer. We love Kona beer. Costco used to carry like the pack of this, the variety pack. Var variety pack um, but no longer. So Hubby and I are very bummed about that. And I got two Scentsies uh, warmers on. That's the limited holiday edition. This is, I think, the Frontier. It's got a moose and, like, the tree scenery. Mommy. Yes, my love. I showed them um, my chanty warmer. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can show them later. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can show them your scentsy. You want to tell them what color it is? Yeah. Okay, what color is it? It's purple with um rainbow dots. Yep, so and, it's... Uh -huh. And it's a boot one. It's a boot one. Yep, it's a purple boot uh, Scentsy warmer. Yeah. With uh, dots, huh? Rainbow dots. Rainbow dots, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yep, uh, nothing. So there's my view sitting down, just enjoying. It's what I think, what is it, one in the afternoon, and look how dark it is outside. Very gloomy here in Seattle. Um, gloomy day. Yesterday was also a gloomy day. Oh, I don't have any lights on because I just want to relax. I am going to make a super easy meal uh, today, cheap meal, because it's Thanksgiving feast tomorrow and I, I don't want to have any leftovers and then plus we're going to be in a food coma for the next few days. This is just ramen. I love to get these kind of ramen. This is a Japanese uh, ramen. Um, I get them over at the Asian market. So it comes into two bases, um, the soup base and then this one, the Ichiban sesame. But usually I skip this one because this is just sesame and then I use this one instead. I did boil two eggs, soft boil. Hopefully my eggs are soft boil. And then I get these mushrooms. This is the Inoki mushroom product of Korea. They're elongated. And then I cut it about um, like right here. Uh, right here when you don't see the, like the ugly part anymore. So right here. And then just a quick rinse. My mom doesn't even rinse it, but I, I have to um, rinse my OCD. So very quick rinse. And then I just saute it in butter. I took out the water, like 90% of the water. And then I'm just gonna put half of this, not all of it, because then it'll be too salty. Use the water, but I think this is, um, this is good enough. And then, so there is the, um, the seasoning. And then I have the Trader Joe's uh, Forikaki. Just add that in there. I don't even measure. However much flavor you want. So I wanted it a bit more flavorful because I only added half of the seasoning. Mix. Ooh, set it aside and then you just eat it just, just like that. But I'm going to set that aside. Medium heat. I have melted butter. About three tablespoons for the amount. I have Montreal steak seasoning. I'll just put that at the bottom so it cooks it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna put the mushroom on top. Then make sure that it evenly, it cooks really fast. And then put 
steak seasoning drizzle on top. And then cook it on each side for about two or three minutes. Not too long. And flip it. It is so good. This mushroom is like my most favorite mushroom because it's crunchy. Even though it's thoroughly cooked. Okay, it smells so good because you're actually cooking that steak seasoning. And then I like to... All the goodness is there. Okay, that's it. You know what? This is a great vegetarian dish. So it's what? Like 79 cents for the ramen. And I only use one. It was $1.69 for the mushroom. And I only used one. So $1.69 plus... This is like less than $3 a meal for two people. And I already had the eggs. Okay, and then I'll do a little bit more. Um, furikake on top. Okay. Simple. Look at that. And it tastes yummy as well. <laughs> Alexa, pause. All right, so I have the two youngest one in here for now. They're helping me uh, chop up vegetables for our Filipino pancit. And they're doing a great job. Good job, girls. Thanks. So Danica, Danica did the beans and then the cabbage. Then yeah, um, Danny first did the green beans, Danny. I no. did the carrots. The beans, yeah, the carrots, yeah. And then there's hubby coming. And then hubby helped me with the turkey and then the ham. And then the big kids will help with, um, what else? The stuffing. Hey, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Look at the girls helping. Look at you too. <laughs> yep, they're all grown. So the other two kids are getting ready now. And then uh, we should be eating lunch. Thanksgiving meal. Thanksgiving feast. Oh. About an hour and a half. Um, Mommy? Yeah? It was harder to eat the beans. It so was. Did yep, and you're doing a good job on that one. See? Good job. All right, so I have Jonathan doing that. Also, Danielle helping now their change for the day. All right, friends, happy Thanksgiving. There's Jonathan. It's a video, bud. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. There's Danny. There's Danica. We just got done with our family FaceTime from all over the U.S., East Coast. There's another person. Right oh, that's there. dad. Oh. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. All right, let me show you guys our feast. So we just made it pretty simple. Oh, uh, all right. So I made a uh, pancit, which the kids helped by chopping up veggies, uh, stuff, cornbread stuffing, cranberry from Costco, and then sweet uh, yams, and then fresh turkey, ham, corn, and then cranberry, and then we have pumpkin pie, and then um, banana Nutella for dessert. So yeah, pretty pretty easy this year. And so we're gonna take our family picture. Where's Java? Java. What are you thankful for? Java. My family. Okay, Danielle, thankful for Java. Being healthy. Healthy. What are you thankful for? Um, my dog. Your school. Oh. Yeah, your friends at school. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then what else? Um, my friends and family. Your friends and family. Oh, that's nice. Um, what are you thankful for? Uh, ramen. Ramen. <laughs> Robin, what are you thankful for? Oh, thankful for all of you and thankful for my family and good health. Good health. Yes, me too. Health, family, love, and ramen. <laughs> all right, let's eat, guys. All right. Here, a little turkey for you, okay? We'll cut it up later. It's just a little bit. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that carnivore. <laughs> you want a daca? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. Good job on the turkey, babe. Thank you, man. Good job cooking it. Yeah, thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Yeah, You're welcome. welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Dad. They're over there. Oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the How's the pie, babe? Where am I? Oh, it was great. <laughs> great with oh, the ice cream, too. Yeah. Are you all playing together? Yeah, all four of us. Alrighty.
Oh, so good. Oh, good. <laughs> Danica loves to have a family game night. Dog. Yeah, that one's mine. I had a mishap. <laughs> I was checking on the turkey and the, the pan of the turkey touched my arm. So I have a raw skin that is showing. Um, and it was just an instant too. So it didn't hurt until I showered. And I'm like, ah, it hurt. I'm going to clean up. And then I'm going to do a Sensi what I have scents and warmers what i have been enjoying into my home um i'm gonna probably share this one i have it off now because i was putting stuff there but i've been using that one using stuff here and then a couple stuff into the living room so i'll show a couple of them um but then i'll go edit this because i think this is two or three days worth of vlog but i'm not doing anything else just this let me show you guys my oh it's just family game night now and it's like two in the afternoon we were gonna go for a little walk but i think it's raining so let's see it's been like this for like three days so let me show you so it stopped raining it's just a little drizzle but like i told you guys i have like a spruce and a pine i these two trees are different uh this is the thicker so i think it's spruce that one is pine over there I don't know what this is but then there's a, a different one there but it's when we chop it down like the leaves sticking out um i can turn it into wreath i turn it into wreath one year i didn't have time to do it this year because i chopped it down or i trimmed it like i think it back in september but um i had it laid out on the front and it smelled so good but it's pretty chilly we might go for a walk later on take java for a little walk if it's not raining Wait. 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 